I've had a lot of time to kill today, waiting for my tires to get fixed, and, um, you know, just sitting there, nothing to do for hours, I was just thinking about, like, living back up in places like Bernie and Fall River, and, and it's always just, it's never gone away, it's always stuck with me when people have said things to me like, you know, go back to Portland, or go someplace where you're not from because we don't believe you're from here. So, I just want to explain what my memory was of coming from the Fall River side, driving into Bernie. And this is, this is, this is just me trying to remember from my much younger mind and the few times I've been back as an adult, but it's, it's baked into my brain. So you, you, you come in, you come through Johnson Park, right? On the left is that used to be Shell gas station where that dude got burned alive. It was a horrible thing. It was all in the news. Um, it was a terrible thing to happen. That was in Johnson Park. You go down a little further, there's a little tire shop, and I might miss a few places, but just, I don't know, I guess pay attention to the things that I do remember, especially if you are from there and you can confirm what I'm saying. So there was a little uh, auto body repair shop on the left as you're heading towards Bernie from Johnson Park. Um, that was one of my first jobs, actually. I was just a shop boy. My, uh, it was like a, I think I wasn't even an adult yet. I was like a high school kid. And my whole job was just cleaning up, you know, crap around the shop, you know. I didn't even fucking learn anything. I hated it. I was like, ah, car stuff ain't the thing for me. Um, and then on the right, I think it's like some trailer parks. And then there on the left again, there was what used to be a pizza place. I, have no, I don't know what a lot of the stuff is now, right today. A lot of the stuff has changed over the years. But there was a pizza place. I think it was... I think it was called Sam's or something. That might be wrong. And then on the right, a little further down, I think there was the gas station. But I remember the gas station shut down a long time ago. Um, and then you, you basically are through Johnson Park. There's a little bit of like a railroad on the side. Sometimes there's like been train cars there. And then I think after that's a junkyard on the right. And then I forget what's after that. But then you have the Les Schwab that is uh, on the right there. And then on the other side of that, there was like the shopping center. Um, one of the places used to be a barbecue. There used to be the video store there. The grocery store used to be a holiday market. I don't know what it is now. On the other side of that past Les Schwab is the bowling alley, which is the very first place I ever had a, uh, a legal drink of alcohol. Yeah, it was after a softball game at the softball park when I used to play for the uh, Pitt River softball team as a shortstop. So, then yeah, the holiday on the left side, and then just past that is the McDonald's. I'm pretty sure that's still a McDonald's. It was the coolest thing ever when Bernie got a McDonald's, and it was such a treat for me growing up because my grandparents, you know, when we'd have to go to Bernie for whatever reason, because we lived in Fall River, um we get to stop at the McDonald's, and it was just like, you know, a thing that I drive past now, and I go, ugh, but as a kid growing up, especially in Bernie and Fall River, the McDonald's was awesome, so I'd get all the Happy Meal toys there, you know, we'd get, we'd bring all the Happy Meal toys to school, and like, trade them like Pokemon, um, because we went to a little tiny, you know, Christian school, where there was like, you know, 40 kids, so we were all pretty close, so... Yeah, anyway, a bit of a tangent. McDonald's is there. You got the bowling alley. And then I think after the McDonald's is a, like a, a hotel, like a little, like a motel, I'm pretty sure. And then after that used to be, it was a Chinese restaurant. It was, I think it was called the Green Dragon for a while. I don't remember what it's called now. Maybe, maybe even the Green Dragon is wrong, but it was the Chinese restaurant. And then across from that was... I don't remember, maybe like some sort of real estate business. It had two stories. Um, and after that, on the left side, there's, there was a Napa Auto Parts. 
and I think like a a fly, like a fishing tackle and supply place or something like that. And then you have the gas station there, like the main gas station in Bernie that most people went to. And then behind that, on the road behind it, was the cemetery and the school. And then on the right side of the road, across from the Napa Auto Parts, there was, I think, another gas station, at least for a while. But then just after that, there was what used to be, I think, a dollar store. It's been like a like a multi-purpose shop. I have no idea what it is now. And then just past that, you have the Safeway. So basically, 80% of the people who've ever grown up in Bernie have worked at that Safeway. <laughs> You know, and it's a it's a good place, good grocery store. I remember the people that worked there were always super nice because everybody was so close knit in the community. Um, and then past Safeway and the gas station, you have what used to be the Round Table on the left side. Um, and then it was Geppetto's. I don't know what it is now. All I know is when it went from Round Table to Geppetto's, they didn't change a goddamn thing, and it was hilarious because they just changed the name from Round Table to Geppetto's, but everything on the menu was the exact same, cooked the exact same way with the same names. So I'm not sure what really happened there, but all I know is we were just kind of all like, yeah, at least we still get the same delicious pizza and the same ranch that was delicious. All right, then you got past the... Um, the pizza place and then there's like little shops on the right there one was called Annie's Place for a while um, the other side was the wreck oh, oh, oh no no then you had the, the Alpine the Alpine drive through awesome delicious burgers and fries it was the first place I discovered fry sauce just couldn't stop drinking it that was always a treat, too, you know, either going to McDonald's or going to the Frosty. Like, mostly it was McDonald's, but, like, if they were in a real good mood and I've been, like, a good boy, you know, we'd go to we'd go to Alpine. Um, and then I had, you know, people close to me that worked there. Um, and then across from that, what was used to be the Rex Club, which was, like, a fancy sort of restaurant club. I remember growing up that it was, like, that's the... To explain it, that's the too expensive place that we never go, and and I didn't get to go there until you know I was an adult, and then I realized, oh yeah, you got to be you know 21, you know you got to be an adult to go to places like that. And then I went there once for like a murder mystery dinner, and it was the first time I got to eat beef Wellington, and it was so good, it was so good. I'm bummed that place sh shut down. I would have liked to go there more as an adult. Uh, and then there was two banks. Was there two banks? Maybe something else there on the left. And then you had another school just down the street. Um, there's other little shops there too on both sides. On the other side there was a little road that used to be the Bernie Courthouse. I don't even think that's open anymore because I think all the Bernie people have to, you know, Bernie and Fall River have to come all the way down here to, to Reading to deal with all their legal stuff now. I don't think they have the Bernie Court open anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it reopened. And then you... You have the veterinarian. Before the veterinarian, you can take one of the roads, and then you have the Pit River Casino, and then, like, another really big fancy gas station that was installed a lot, you know, more recently. Um, and then on the right, I think, as you exit Bernie, it's, like, more, more trailer uh, park areas and then then you have uh, Sierra Pacific and then you're in the fucking mountains driving past you know where the windmills are and you drive down that way for a while you get to you get to Hillcrest which is where you turn off to Big Bend or go to Hillcrest you get down to Montgomery Creek and then you get down to Round Mountain and then basically once you're out of Round Mountain you don't hit another little town until you get to Ingot, which is a crazy place. It's like close to where that Snoopy dog has been painted on that rock on 299 for years. So anyways, that's where my mind goes when I'm bored and having to wait for stuff. And I just kind of wanted to use that to really let people understand that 
I absolutely am from here. So, I, it's, I'm so from here, I can't get it out of my head. And I could go more. I could do that entire thing all the way from Day Road down to Reading. That would just take a long time. Alright. Thanks for suffering through that. Yeah.